Hi there, I am James. And I'm Paul. And this is Chompers. Yep. And this is what you get when you get off the grid. Today we are camping near Moab, Utah, between yep. Moab and Cisco on Highway 128, one of our very favorite one highways. One of our favorites, probably one of our top five highways to drive, just from a total scenic perspective. You catch it right near Cisco on northern Utah. Off the interstate. Off the interstate 70, and it connects along the Colorado River through a very narrow canyon all the way down to Moab. So we are camping at Hittel Canyon? Hittle Bottom. Hittle Bottom Campground. Campground. This is Bureau of Land Management, otherwise BLM land. It's okay. a developed campsite, but it is completely self-service. Total boondocking. There Total are boondocking. no services. Along the river, there are several small campgrounds like this. They're all run by Bureau of Land Management. They're all first come, first serve, and they're all boondocking. This particular one has seven spots for RVs. All sizes. All sizes. We have our friends here with the Class A. There's eight walk-in tent sites. There is a boat launch and a group, a group camp area and a day use area. And the campground is located between a curve in the Colorado River and the highway. Now sometimes during the day you'll hear cars go by on the highway, but at night it was, yeah. it was It's just a two-lane highway, so it's not really a busy highway. There are hiking trails from the campground. You can probably swim, not this time of year. Yeah, maybe. the water was a little muddy, not quite as flowing as we've seen it before in the past. There are tubing companies that come up and down the river yeah. on, on season. When it's uh, when the water's really flowing, there'll be lots of whitewater rafting companies that right. will use this as a launch to launch people to go down the Colorado River all the way down to Moab. Our site, number 14, uh, and all the sites for RVs actually are quite long and fairly level. They have a fire pit and a picnic table, lots of space between the sites, and views all the way around. All the way Sunrise, around. Sunrise, sunset, you just, it keeps changing as the light on the hills and monuments and monoliths around. We did not have any cell coverage on all three services, by the way. Now and again, something would pop in and you'd be like, oh, oh, a text or maybe an email, but uh, yeah. do not count on services. So if you're you working, are detached here. <laughs> you're off the grid. If you're working remotely, don't come and camp here because you will have no service unless you have Starlink. So why would you camp here, Paul? Well, this is really a beautiful canyon. It's because the campgrounds are very small. There's just a couple of people around you. It's almost like boondocking in the middle of nowhere. The views are absolutely phenomenal. We watched a storm come in, the clouds move over these monuments, the great sand, uh, red sand canyon monuments in the distance. We just sat here and stared at them for quite a while. It's just really beautiful. And of course it's right on the Colorado River. So you've got river, you've got canyon walls, you've got views. It's, it's probably one of the more or most Probably top five scenic places we've Oh yeah, this is one of our favorite roads. It gets so dark at night that the stars, when the clouds are gone, the stars are just amazing and beautiful. So if you like nature, if you like disconnect, if you like off the grid, figure out how long your rig or your tent or whatever you have can last. There is no water, there are pit toilets. You are really, really on your own. But you know what? Yeah, it's. I, I would take this as a uh, alternative to camping in Moab or Archer State oh, yeah. or National us, Park. It's totally our style. Take uh, Highway 128, stop at some of the campgrounds along the way, and just see what you could find and and plot yourself down. From so, a rating standpoint, yeah, given that, what would you say about a rating? James? I don't give tens. You know, I don't believe in perfection. So you know, nine's my highest. Knowing that this is boondocking, knowing this is off the grid, it's all the things we just said. You have to really be up for that and really love it. Um, this is an absolute eight. If there were cell service and you have some communication, you know, not that that's the end of the world because I guess off the grid means off the grid. <laughs> I actually finished a book. Um, yeah. it, it might be a nine if maybe we had even fresh water available, but there isn't that. So I'm giving it a, okay. a very strong eight. And there are other camps along the river here that um, may have that, but this particular one does not. Yeah, I would give How it, I would give it an 8.5 easily. Um, you know, tens to me are ones that have full hookups and services and things like that. But the trade-off here of being kind of in a more desolate area with beautiful views all the way around, it, it really is boondocking in nature. So strong 8.5 yeah. for me. And Chompers just popped up from her nap, yeah. filming nap to say, I liked it as well. Oh, she loved roaming around she here. She had tons of space. <laughs> yeah, so yeah. if you guys want some off the grid stuff, and it, if you want just a beautiful drive, whether you stay here yeah, or not, it's, Highway it's, 128, 
between Moab, Moab and, and Cisco. Cisco in Utah. In Utah. Absolutely, it's, it's a great route for, I will call it adventure RVing because you're really out there in nature. And this is what the Southwest, and camping in the Southwest is all about. So absolutely check it out. Two thumbs up. Two thumbs up. Hey, guess what? <laughs> like and subscribe to our videos. And if you hit Always. that notification bell, you will get notifications yeah. when we put out new ones. It increases the algorithm for YouTube so that other people searching for s similar type things, we we'll get higher up. in a search. So yep. you can help others out by liking and subscribing. Until next time, safe travel. Find the great roads out there. That's right. Take Have your own everybody. adventure. Bye now.